All right, we talk about snowbirds across southeastern Arizona. They come here to avoid the snow. Well, the snow so far has been really confined to the mountaintops and a uh, decent dumping of snow, a half a foot up a Mount Lemon, four inches Summer Haven, two inches or should say three inches Huachuca City there near Sierra Vista, two in Benson. So a lot of the valley floors in Cochise County saw some snow and at the airport we did not see snow. However, that's subject to change with our next storm system coming. Looking ahead, hard freeze warning tonight. Let's keep that in mind. The four P's, the people, the plants, the pipes and the pets. Heavy Valley rain arrives Thursday and Friday. We're talking maybe an inch. Some model projections putting closer to two inches. And then here's for the kicker. Blizzard conditions likely at times for the mountaintops above 7000 feet on the order of perhaps two to even three feet of snow up in the Catalinas above 7000 feet. Wow, that's going to be the biggest storm we've seen in quite some time. Top 10 today in Tucson 51 average high 69 18 degrees away from average live look at our snow capped Catalinas on this Tuesday evening. It's down to 48 at the airport dew points dry. West northwest winds little stiff at 10 miles per hour. Those come down dew point low. We'll see clearing skies. That's going to equate to some pretty decent radiational cooling. 40s across all of Metro Tucson, 6 o'clock at night, low 20s up on the mountaintop, and we're already down into the 30s for Bisbee, Benson, and Sierra Vista. Official forecast for Tucson brings in 30s by 10 o'clock, and look at that, hovering right near freezing cold at 2 a.m. already. That's why we had those hard freeze warnings out tonight from 11 o'clock through early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. That's part one of our weather story. Let's transition to part two. Winter storm watches for all the mountaintops across southeastern Arizona. This goes into effect Thursday at 11 a.m. through 5 p.m. on Friday. This is what we're really talking about, the heaviest snow coming in. Low pressure exiting the state of Arizona into New Mexico. Backside of that low pressure, we're seeing the air literally fall from the north to the south. Skies clearing up. That's why we're seeing a cold night. And then here's our late week monster that might bring us the most snow we've seen in quite a few years across southeastern Arizona. Raincast for the valleys. Latest U of A model, 7 tenths of an inch of rain. GFS model says, you know what, maybe closer to an inch and a half. The European says closer to two inches. So these will become in better focus here over the course of the next 24 hours. And I put this little chart together for you. Snow level starting below Mount Lemmon, probably around Bisbee or so 24 to 36 inches of snow in the mountains, five to seven, maybe Sierra Vista, Oracle, Nogales, two to four and a dusting late Friday night, early Saturday morning, possibly right here in the city of Tucson. Frigid start tomorrow, 20s for lows, sunny skies, 50s for daytime highs in Tucson, upper 40s to lower 50s for Cochise and Santa Cruz County, 55 tomorrow, 80% chance of rain right for that Tucson rodeo parade. 47, 100% chance of rain, and that could start switching over to snow late Friday, early Saturday with our daytime highs. Not getting out of the 40s on Friday, clearing up by Saturday, Sunday through Tuesday, looking sunny. Still cool, though, only into the 60s. Paul, this is the real deal.